Hello and welcome to another video. Now, have you ever wanted to do Percy Jackson cosplay but have found yourself with literally nothing but your shirt? Well, if you did, and if you want to go as any Percy Jackson character for this Halloween, then this is the video for you. Today, I am going to show you how to cosplay Percy Jackson characters with items you have lying around in your house. The only essential for the Percy Jackson cosplay is obviously this shirt and you know it's also pretty handy if you have a bead necklace but anything else you might just have lying around your house so without further ado let's see what costume ideas we can come up with with things lying around in our house our first cosplay is the one the only Percy Jackson for this one you'll need a Camp Half-Blood t-shirt a blue hoodie, you get bonus points if you have a swim team hoodie, but as long as it's blue, it's completely fine. You'll also need a beaded necklace to show all the summers you've spent at camp, some Converse or Vans, since he is a skater boy, and some blue accessories, like for example, some blue socks, and of course, if you have it, a sword though a pen will do just fine if you don't have a sword just laying around your house. And that's it! You're ready to cosplay as the son of the sea god. Next up, we have our resident wise girl, Annabeth Chase. To cosplay as Annabeth, you will need a Camp Half-Blood t-shirt, a New York Yankees invisibility cap, a beaded necklace, bonus points if you have a college ring in there, also a ponytail so you're ready to fight Bonus points if you have blonde hair or curly hair. If you don't want to go as a regular Annabeth, you can also go as her nobody persona and you're sure to impress everyone at your Zoom Halloween party. Invisibility isn't Annabeth's only weapon. And if you don't have a bronze knife, just carry your laptop around and pretend it belonged to Daedalus. And you're ready to announce to the world you're definitely nobody's psychic. Then we have our favorite redhead, Rachel Elizabeth Dare, sporting some overalls so you can definitely see she's artsy, as well as the Camp Half-Blood t-shirt, bonus points if any of your clothing has paint splatters. You can also carry around a stool in case you have the sudden urge to share the next big prophecy with the world. Messy hair is a must for an artist, as well as a messy bun. You get bonus points for every paintbrush, pencil or pen you can get in your hair. Also bonus points if you are an actual redhead. But don't think Rachel is a defenseless mortal. She always carries around a plastic hairbrush just in case she has to face a titan. So with your stool and your hairbrush, you're ready to become the next Oracle of Delphi. Next up is the best thing to ever come from Zeus, Talia Grace herself. This one, you will definitely need some black leather and black pants, bonus points if they're ripped, a Camp Havla t-shirt, a beaded necklace, and some sharp enough to kill eyeliner, as well as some black combat boots. You can also add some lightning accessories, but if you enjoy Talia better after the Titan's Curse, then you can go as Talia as a Hunter of Artemis. You will need a bow, a large and very very comfy and warm white or silver jacket, a stars or moon themed shirt for Artemis and our dear Zoe Nightshade, any version you can come up with for her lieutenant's tiara, I myself chose a pearl necklace and wrapped it around my head, and some star accessories. Also, silver jewelry in general is a must. Change those black combat boots for some even more intimidating white ones, and that's it. You are ready to lead the hunters of Artemis on their next hunt. Get ready for our favorite daughter of Ares, Clarice. 
She will definitely put you in your place with her Camp Half-Blood t-shirt and army green jacket, bonus points if the sleeves are ripped off. If you want, you can lose the jacket so you can show off your strong physique to scare the newbies. A red bandana warm Rambo style is a must and messy hair also adds to the image. If you don't have a spear, that's it, you're done and you are definitely ready to go dunk some heads in the toilet. Coming up is Clarice's polar opposite Katie Gardner. Tie a flannel around your waist to show your easygoing nature. Anything floral is a definite bonus point. A flower crown is a must for a daughter of Demeter, as well as a Camp Hat Blood beaded necklace. Your weapon? Some plants. They can definitely do some damage. I mean, just ask Mac. And if anyone ever questions the value of Demeter kids, just remind them that they grow the strawberries that pay for all of the expenses for their summer camp. And that's it. You're ready to go plant some trees and save the world. Lastly, we have a bit of a curveball, and that is the goddess of wisdom herself. Be sure to look like you're better than everyone, and you're always right. For this character, you can either wear a power pantsuit or a Greek toga dress. For your hair, you'll need a golden laurel crown, because you're Athena and you always win at everything. You can also carry around an owl, just so people don't mistake you for any other Greek goddess. And to top it all off, you can put on some sandals and do a little dance that the actual Athena would never do in her lifetime. And that's it. And before you go, just remember, Athena always has a plan. <gasps> that was a lot of cosplay. Oh my god. And just... <sighs> Let me tell you, I am exhausted. That was too many costume changes. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you try on 10 different cosplays at once. My poor chair. But I hope I inspired you to find a cool cosplay idea for Halloween. But honestly, if you have the Camp Half-Blood shirt, you can literally go as anyone. And even better, you can go as yourself. You can have your own headcanon on who your godly parent is and what your weapons are, what your powers are, and who your friends are at Camp Hatfoot. So if you don't have any of the things I showed in the video, you can just go ask yourself and I think that's the beauty of Camp Hatfoot and this fandom. So yeah, I really hope you guys liked that video. It was a lot of fun to make even though I was sweating through all of my costumes. And yeah, please leave a like, comment which of the cosplays that I came up with was your favorite, and comment who you'll be going as this Halloween. If you're going as anyone from the Percy Jackson books, I would really like to know. And yeah, just subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, bye!